what is up good morning good evening good afternoon whenever you're watching this so today is saturday this weekend we are doing like a i don't know like a weekend vlog why not so first things first that i have to get done is i have to go ahead and edit the rest of the week's vlog i have to get ready for the upcoming week today is uh january 23rd and I start school on the 26th. So the first couple weeks aren't going to be like super, super busy. But when we get towards the end is when everything is kind of going to be thrown at me. Because the way they have the schedule set up, it's kind of like we get one chapter the first week. And then once we get to the eighth week, we get eight chapters thrown at us. So it's a lot. So I don't know how that's all going to go. But I'm going to try my hardest to stay on top of everything. I really want to get good grades and all that kind of stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I am going into personal training school. And I want to be really good at it. So I was supposed to start on the 6th of TikTok and on my Instagram. Unfortunately, I ended up getting sick and I didn't end up starting. And I pushed it back and I kept pushing it back because I was still sick. And the next available date was the 26th. Uh, so that's the class that I'm with now and I will graduate like I guess graduate or whatever get my certificate in the beginning of April I'm having issues with my actual Instagram for some reason It's telling me that I cannot use music on my Instagram story because I'm a business account or whatever but like there's other like influencers or whatever you want to call them that are bigger than me that can use music they're saying it's like a copyright thing and like I'm about to like email them if I don't figure this out. Like I switched my account from a business to a personal account, so lost all my analytics. Like it's annoying. <laughs> There's so much that I just lost by doing that and I don't even know if I needed to do that. I might have just needed to email them but whatever. So I'm going to go edit now and drink some water. Think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Bet you wanna fry Ugh, I'm finally done editing <laughs> So as much as I want to believe that I'm going to take those pictures today, do you see what I'm wearing? Do you see my outfit? It's not happening today. So, Built um, did send me some stuff though. Some new stuff. And I want to try it. Some strawberry marshmallow. I need to look and see. I will have it on the screen here. Um, first of all, my code and when these will be available. So these are the vanilla marshmallow and the coconut marshmallow as well. When I try these, because I'm not hungry yet, um, I will let you guys know what I think of them because that's amazing. I have like so many different videos idea and I've just been like, you know, I got sick and I've just been lazy. That's it. So. I'm gonna go see what my parents are doing now and what my dog is doing because I've I've just been working on that. I need to plug in my computer too while that's exporting. That's a 25 minute video and I wonder how long this video is gonna be too. I don't normally upload videos that long and we'll see how you guys like them. If you guys want them to be shorter, let me know and I'll try to cut them down and get them shorter for you guys. But if you like them longer like that, then fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> so as I was sitting here, so as I was sitting here editing um, the week vlog or whatever, I realized it's like 25 minutes long and I did a little bit of meal prep in that vlog and it's kind of long. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the meal prep that I did in that video in the weekend video. So I'm going to make this like a get it all done video 
including the meal prep in that. Um, just because, you know, going into this next week, I start school this week and all that, that fun stuff. So I feel like this is something that we can include in that. So that's why it's not included in that video. And that's why it's included in this one. I don't know why I feel like you guys need an explanation for that. But you do. <laughs> I am going to meal prep some cauliflower rice. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know, I'll show you, I forgot what it's called. Washing my blueberries, I already washed them. Cold water and vinegar, and now I have them in this salad spinner, and I'm just getting them all, like, dry. Okay, so to start this off, I just went ahead and sauteed some garlic and peppers together, and then I went ahead and added some water to the pan, just because I didn't want to use any oil. Then I added my cauliflower rice, my mixed vegetables to the pot, and I added a little bit of water. You really don't need to add much just because it's frozen cauliflower, so it's going to let off water on its own. I don't even think I showed it, but I did add just a little bit to break it up, and it was delicious. So then I went ahead and added this ginger i got this from aldi but you can find it at pretty much any grocery store it's like the squeeze ginger um you could use powdered ginger or fresh ginger if you wanted to i just find that this is more convenient for me um just because we don't use a ton of ginger in my house so this is always nice to have on hand and it tastes good in my opinion so i just added a little bit of that about a tablespoon in comparison to fresh ginger and it makes it really delicious and then I go ahead and move all of my cauliflower rice and everything to the middle and put my eggs in the middle and I season my eggs and then I go ahead and just make scrambled eggs basically and then I go ahead and stir everything together and cook the eggs almost all the way through and then I throw in this sugar-free marinade sauce thing by G Hughes. I have no idea when I threw in that broccoli, but throw in your broccoli and cook it to however you like it. We don't like it super, super soft, so that's how we did it. Could this to be a little angel? It's now Sunday, so I just made a list of everything that I need to get done for this upcoming week um so like tomorrow like starting tomorrow for my week video there's gonna be a lot in that so I kind of had a lot to do today that was just kind of like sit down stuff I had to go through some emails um I had to pick out some stuff with Sheen um I had to just sit down and write stuff down and I didn't really record that I don't know it was just a lot of writing and, and getting that kind of stuff done because, like I said, I am starting my classes this week. You know, I had to get out my book and all that stuff, so I had to, like, figure out my schedule. And then I was like, well, if I'm going to figure out my schedule, then I probably need to figure out what I need to do. So that clip that I just showed you of that, like, cauliflower rice um, with the egg and everything, it was kind of like a stir fry, if you will, like an egg like fried rice or whatever fried cauliflower rice it was delicious it was so good I highly recommend you guys try that um, if you haven't already if you don't like corn don't eat corn if you don't like peas don't eat peas uh, I personally have no problem digesting it I loved it my mom loved it we loved it so much that I actually ended up having to meal prep something else you know, to make sure that we're good for the week because I think I meal prepped that on Thursday night. Might have been Friday night. I don't know, but I just know that we needed more food in the fridge, right? So I ended up meal prepping something else, which was, which will actually be like the next clip after this because we were getting stuff done. Like we just went shopping and we have been really good about getting back on track and eating like fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff. We're like g 
going through it. Like, I was a little shocked when I went back into the fridge today to like, to find that we kind of need more vegetables. I mean, we don't need them at this moment, but in a couple days, we're gonna need some more vegetables. So that made me happy, that made my heart happy, my, my little personal training, you know, heart happy. So I was excited and I'm proud of that. So I had to do a little mini meal prep and make some meals for my mom to take to work and for myself to keep myself accountable. I think meal prep is something that everybody should be doing if it's something that's going to help you, you know what I mean? Now I'm not a person that likes to eat the same thing every single day to a T. So I like options and I realize that no matter how hard I try to meal prep, eating the same damn thing is not going to work for me. So the way I meal prep has changed to fit my lifestyle and the way that I like to eat. I'm not a person that has to go to like a, a job job. I am somebody that works from home. So I have that luxury of being able to pick and choose what I want. Sometimes I can make a meal, sometimes I need to just grab something. I do like what is called buffet style meal prep. So I make like one big meal and me and my mom just put into containers what we need and we go. So that's super nice, it's convenient and we always have something in the fridge that's healthy. If I wanna make something else, I will. If not, there's already something in the fridge. And I would say eight times out of 10, I will choose what's already in the fridge that's already made. So if you're not somebody that likes to eat the same things like chicken, broccoli, and rice, in the individual meal prepped containers already like prepped out and ready to go try that like try making something that you actually like make it like one meal like I did or like you'll see in the next clip I made like a I don't even know what you would call that it was like a taco cauliflower rice I'm on a cauliflower rice kick right now I don't know what's going on that's just what we bought and that's what we have in the house and I was like fuck it why not yeah, just make something you like. I tried for the longest time to just make chicken and broccoli because I thought that was what health was. No. Make food you like. Make it yours. So I have a whole bunch of stuff that I have ready to go for the week and I will talk about that in tomorrow's vlog. As of right now, I'm just kind of chilling. I have an email here that I just seen. What are you talking about? Okay, so we're washing cucumbers here and then we're just going to go ahead and cut them up and put them in our fancy Tupperware container that my sister was selling. Um, she doesn't sell them anymore, so I don't even know where you can get those from. It was like a multi-level marketing thing. Then we went ahead and washed our mushrooms. My family eats a lot of mushrooms. Like that's one thing that's like a non-negotiable when we go to the store. Um, and... Then I washed some iceberg lettuce, chopped up some sausage for dinner. I actually took some shrimp off of its tails too, I just didn't show that. So this is actually the like, I don't know, taco cauliflower rice thing. I went ahead and browned up some ground beef. I did not use the whole packet of ground beef by the way but I just went ahead and browned up the whole package and put it in the fridge and had it ready to go. Browned up some mushrooms and some green peppers. I use these in like every recipe just to add in some extra veggies. I do not use a lot of oil or anything like that. It hurts my stomach. So instead of using oil, I use water and it works well. You don't miss it. You don't miss the calories. Added some black beans and I sauteed those up. Um, I let the water cook out and like down and it works just like oil. You really don't even need the oil. In my opinion, the oil doesn't even add any extra flavor. I personally don't even like the taste of it, so it doesn't even bother me. So I went ahead and added the ground beef back in and sauteed that all up and added my taco seasoning and added a little bit of water. If you don't like taco seasoning, you can mix whatever seasonings you want to make your own taco seasoning. I know some people feel weird about all the ingredients, whatever. We have this big thing of taco seasoning, so I'm going to use what we have. Then I went ahead and added riced cauliflower, 
because I have a huge thing of a Sam's Club pack of it and I'm obsessed mixed that went ahead and added this taco sauce and some low-fat cheese mixed that all up and it was chef's kiss I actually really recommend this both of the dishes that I made in this video are really really good and me and my mom love them if you want to add some sour cream go ahead I actually added jalapenos to this as I served it but now that I'm thinking like some sour cream would go very well with this as well yum delicious alright so it is the end of it's actually Monday morning um, it's like 4 in the morning I really suck <laughs> at like I don't know timing these vlogs together oh, I said I was gonna show you guys the sweet smart sweet box let me go grab that real quick so I can show you guys in this one. Okay, so Smart Sweets sent me this box. Came with this cute card. It says, you're sweet. So I'm part of the Kick Sugar crew and it came with all these sweets and stuff like that. Um, so I already know, like I love the Swedish fish. You can find these at like Walmart, um, Target, I know you can find them there. I don't know where else you can find them, but I know you can find them there. Um, or you can order them off Sweet Smart's website or Amazon. Um, and yeah, so like for the Swedish fish, it's three grams of sugar for the entire bag and a hundred calories for this entire bag. So obviously that's amazing. They have like sour melon, um, watermelon, these are like the Sour Patch Kids watermelon ones. They're really good. They're really good. They're pretty sour too, and I like that. So, that's good. They sent me the Sour Gummy Bears. I love these ones. These are like the Sour Patch Kids. Love these as well. Um, the Peach Rings. These are one of my favorites. And I'm not a peach person. I must say so myself. They have the gummy bears, just the regular ones. These are okay, like they're gummy bears. And they also sent the new Twizzler ones. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you that these are like the best Twizzlers that I've ever tasted. They're okay, I give them like a two out of, I don't know, five, if I have to rate them out of 10. To give you guys like a even more like I would give them like maybe a four out of ten like they smell really good like they taste okay it's just they're lacking like that flavor that you want you know but I mean for two grams of sugar for the whole package I would eat them but my favorites are the peach rings the watermelon and the Swedish fish if you're gonna get any these are the ones that I would get. I'm just saying. So I do have a discount code with them if you guys are gonna, if you are thinking about ordering any, it's here on the screen. So these are free from sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners, bariatric friendly, keto friendly, and some of them are plant-based as well. Guys, I told you I am gonna be working my butt off to make sure that I can like turn this turn social media into my full-time job and you guys are making this possible like with built bar with kick sugar with smart sweets like I I cannot thank you guys enough and I'm beyond thankful for you so I just wanted to show you guys this and show you what you have made possible for me and I just want it to always come across that I am so thankful for you guys that you are the reason that I am getting these opportunities and I will never not be grateful for you. So that is all I have for you guys today and I'm really excited to see what the future holds. And I hope you guys like these like vlogs, these get it all done videos and whatever. I really enjoy filming them. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we always want you here. I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.